Welcome to the next episode of 420 Sessions. We're sitting here today talking about Google My Business, and I've brought in an expert in the local SEO space. Hi, uh, my name is Tim Robbins, and I do uh, local SEO support. Uh, I help with uh, strategy and implementation of uh, local uh, digital marketing. So, uh, yes. So tell us about GMB ads specifically, because a lot of our cannabis clients, they don't know a lot about Google My Business. So Google My Business is um, the digital footprint for your representation on Google. It is all of your information, uh, your physical location, your uh, phone number, your uh, website information. Um, it contains everything about your business when you uh, come up in a Google, uh, Google search. So like if I'm walking down the street, say in Arizona, I have an MMJ card, but I'm new to Arizona, so I don't know what dispensaries are around me, that's when I put in things like dispensary near me, and I would get that pop-up, well, it's not really a pop-up, but I'd get that side panel that's all about one particular dispensary. That's okay. correct. So uh, you could get a number of different kinds of searches. You could get what we call the three pack, which is uh, map and then three business listings, giving you um, close proximity to uh, where you are in, in regard to uh, how close you are to the dispensary. And um, the ranking also depends on uh, other factors like uh, reviews, uh, how popular the location is, uh, a number of other uh, reasons. Um, when it comes up in the knowledge panel, that's kind of a unique search, and we get that more with direct search, but that's a very content-rich uh, knowledge panel. So that contains uh, description information about your business, uh, additional links, uh, you can include product information. Um, it's a very rich uh, a container of information that Google provides for us. And we focus on uh, consistency of information, uh, making sure that all of your key metrics and your keywords are included in that description, and that all of your content is consistent across multiple platforms. Not just Google, but also top tier, your Yelp, uh, your um, Bing, and other top tier directories as well. So that's all important. So let's go into what makes a good knowledge panel. What break it down for a small business owner of what they need to have ready if either they're going to do it themselves or if they're going to come to an agency like MMX. <clears throat> uh, I think the most important thing is accuracy of information. So um, that's that's primary and completeness of information. So making sure that everything that's filled in is filled in uh, accurately and um, is consistent across multiple platforms and then making sure that everything that can be filled in is filled in. So Google provides links for uh, your website, for appointment setting, for um, menus, um, it also provides uh, descriptive content and then making sure that your photo content is also rich, uh, that it's good quality uh, and that it accurate, accurately represents your business. That's what's most important. And then it's also original. So all, all of that's important in uh, making sure that your Google My Business is filled out properly. So are there any sort of rules that Google has set specifically for the cannabis industry that a small business owner needs to be aware of? Yeah, you bet. So um, the cannabis industry for a long time we struggled to find a place within it. Um, we tried to uh, find associated categories that were uh, somewhat of a good fit, but <clears throat> eventually Google provided for us uh, the cannabis uh, store uh, category. So that is unique and that is specific to uh, cannabis dispensaries and that changed the playing ground for uh, what we can do within Google My Business. Now there are certain things that we can't do, uh, paid campaigns is part of that. Um, we also cannot post in the Google My Business post area, uh, but what we can do is make sure that the content is rich, that the categories are applicable, and that um, all, all the links are um, good links to the organic component of, of the digital marketing. So to go along with the GMB, because I know local SEO is a lot bigger than just Google My Business, what, uh, in a perfect world for a cannabis business walking in, what are the key digital services that they need to complement their Google My Business? Uh, I would start with um, the organic component. So Google My Business by itself is the absolute minimum that somebody needs for their digital marketing needs. It's uh, the basis and the foundation for the digital marketing. 
Um, the next component that works great hand in hand with uh, the local product is the organic product because that is part of the local signal. So the two work hand in hand and um, within our marketing strategy, we work with the organic department um, on strategy and we try to synergize that component, making sure that uh, keyword information is a good match, that um, all the uh, organic components, the meta tags, um, all that information contains the right uh, geo information that we use on the local side. So that's the next best match. And then I think um, there are some um, other opportunities for um, what, uh, larger um, uh, local packages maybe later. But um, it, it's really applicable on what's uh, uh, permissible on the social platforms at that time. So if you could give a cannabis client four tips to, to boost their GMB, maybe it's a very little listing, they don't have a lot of information, what would be four tips that you could get them going out the door uh, that they could do themselves in-house? Um, just um, make sure that the, the address information is accurate and that it matches what's on the website. So go to your website, look at the address information, look at the formatting of that address information and make sure that that's a good match on your Google My Business listing. I think that's probably one of the fundamental um, uh, pieces that like, would synergize and give a little bit of juice. Um, making sure that the photo content includes a logo, a cover, three interior shots of your business, three exterior shots of your business, and then maybe some product photos if that's um, something that you can post as well. So filling out all the uh, photos, but making sure they're in the proper categories, that's also important. Um, and then also making sure that all your links are filled out. So Google always offers you a place for your website, but they also offer places for appointment setting. Sometimes in the case of like uh, medical marijuana doctors, that might be something that appears. And then they also give a menu link, and that menu link fits very well with product uh, links for your uh, dispensary website. So um, we've also been able to see um, that some dispensaries are allowed a product menu. And this is something that's rolling out in beta for Google My Business, but it allows you to actually put in specific products with descriptions and pricing, but it's something that um, requires attention. So if you have a price change, you absolutely have to go in and get that information manually. So it is something that's rolling out, I think. Um, it requires a ton of management, and that's something that we're looking at doing as well. Okay, that's perfect. Well, thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing everyone back at our next episode of 420 Sessions. Thank you, Tim, for joining us today. You can go on the blog at Marijuana Marketing Experts to find out more about Google My Business and the other topics that 